Hey guys, my name is Frank. This is the Poth on Programming video log, and today I'm going to be doing my first tutorial on how to program in JavaScript. I'm just going to do a simple Hello World tutorial. So first thing you're going to need to do is create a new document, empty document. You could use anything you want. You could use a full-fledged IDE. You could use Microsoft Word if you want, um, or you could just use a text document, and I'm going to call this hello.html. And that's all you need, just one file and a browser to run it, but we'll look at the browser later. Open the file up, and we're going to start editing. So first thing you want to do is specify your doc type. And I'm going to be using HTML5, so that's just a lowercase HTML. Next thing is declare an HTML tag. Close that tag out. Not HTLM, HTML. Then we're going to go in and create a head head tag. In the head tag, you do stuff like define the CSS for the page, the title, do that now. It'll be a really simple page. The title is just going to be hello, actually I'll do it capital H. Hello world. Put an exclamation point so we're happy. Title and that title um now we're going to go to the body element, create that. And this is where all the stuff that you see on a web page comes into play. It's kind of hard to type in text at the same time. I'm going to have to figure out a way to do this, to narrate and code at the same time, because just typing stuff and talking at the same time is kind of, it's like multitasking. I guess I'm not very good at that. So anyway, we're going to write a simple script. In JavaScript, make sure to specify the type of script it is. With the MIME type text or JavaScript. This way, the parser knows that we are writing some JavaScript. I don't think you need to specify for script tags in HTML5, but I know you do for things like CSS. If you're going to link CSS in, you don't want to provide an inappropriate MIME type, you want to do text or CSS. So I just like to put that in there just because I think it's good practice. So I'm going to do it. So very simple to do this kind of program. You want to simply make a prompt with the alert function and just write hello world. And that in itself right there will prompt hello world onto the screen. But I'm also going to show you guys a couple other ways to do this. So I'm going to show you the developer tools, which is really handy when you're trying to debug your code and just check for errors and whatnot. So we're going to call the console and say console.log hello world from the console. And we're going to close parentheses, and go to the next line. And actually, that's all we're going to do for now. And then I'm going to save this over here in this corner. I don't really use gedit all that much. Save this. It's hello.html. should be saved. And now we're going to open this with Chromium Web Browser. See what we get. We get hello world in the prompt. We have hello world up here in the title of our tab. And if we press F12, actually, is there another way to do this? If we go to inspect, it will bring up our console thing here, our developer tools. And we can click on the console and we get the message hello world from the console. So pretty simple, pretty easy stuff. All the code was written in a little text file. And then executed with the browser. And this is all you need right here. So anybody with a computer and a browser and a text editor can write front end web code really easily. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to do one more thing and show you guys how to actually put some text in the HTML document with um, simple h1 tag. It stands for header type one. I'm going to end that tag. All tags should be 
opened and closed. Some tags actually don't, you don't have to do, like link tags, I believe you don't have to do, or meta tags, but generally when you open a tag, you wanna close the tag with this little end slash there. And we're gonna write hello world in there as well. Save this, I'm just gonna control S to save and open this up again with the Chromium web browser. We get the prompt hello world and there's our hello world header one element on the screen. So anyway, that's how to do a simple hello world program with HTML and JavaScript. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. I'm gonna look in the description for where I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna try to put this on GitHub. So look down in the description and I'll have a link down there for you guys to actually download the source code, even though it's really simple. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys glean some useful information and stay tuned for the next video. Have a good one.